Hey all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up an HTTPS custom domain with Coolify. So I've been using Coolify to host my websites on a personal VPS for the past few months. In a previous guide, we talked about how to set up a custom domain with Coolify, and here we'll discuss how to enable HTTPS so your site can be hit like this. And this is gonna be more and more important, you know, in the future as most browsers already treat HTTP domains as insecure and they have the little pop-up. So if you're not, if you don't have HTTPS, probably a lot of users aren't even going to hit your site anyway. Um, and now places like Cloudflare are even blocking it by default. So you can't use HTTP in general, you must use HTTPS. And so if you're using a custom domain, this is basically required these days to make your domain usable. All right, so first let's talk about setting up a custom domain with Coolify. And basically the steps are just to configure your domain's DNS records to point to your server's IP. And you do this with your, you know, your domain registrar. This means that when someone types it into your browser, it'll look up DNS and it'll be like, oh, this lives at the IP address. So this is where I need to connect to actually find um, the website. And you'll typically do this with an A record um, pointing at, which means your root to the server IP. And then finally you need to configure your app on Coolify to list the custom domain in the domain section. And so here I'm in, you know, my cloud compare um, app configuration in Coolify, and you can see that the domain section is here. And this got some examples of how you might link this up. And so here for my cloud compare, um, this is at cloudcompare.xyz. Link this bigger so you can see it. Now for more detailed instructions on this, including a video walkthrough, you can see how to configure a custom domain on Coolify. Okay, now let's talk about setting up HTTPS with Coolify. So HTTPS enables traffic to be end-to-end -end encrypted from a user's browser to your server and back. And let's see if I can see this. So yeah, like you can tell that my blog is, it says connection is secure. The way that it, it shows this is it's HTTPS. And then if you go to, you know, a website that doesn't offer this, you'll now see those little pop-ups that are like, this, this connection is insecure. Are you really sure you want to join this? Um, which means that most people probably will not click that button and so probably won't go to your website. And it also helps to ensure that the site is official to prevent malicious actors from pretending to be your site, which is why, you know, all of these providers are blocking things that don't prove this. And this is mostly handled with SSL certificates, which are basically identifiers proving that your site is official. Now going into specifics about how SSL certs work is beyond the scope of this post, but basically we need one on our server to show that this server is an official provider for the given domain. And there are two primary ways to do this with Coolify. One is you can just let Coolify handle HTTPS and your SSL certs for you, which is good for most applications. And the second one is to do it yourself. This is more complicated and you're gonna have to learn more about you know how this stuff works, but it is good if you want more control. And I could see this being useful for like enterprises who are using Coolify to manage your stuff. If you have your own SSL provisioning process with a fleet of servers, then you might wanna go this route. But for most people, probably just wanna let Coolify do it for you. Okay, so let's talk about letting Coolify handle your HTTPS and SSL certs. So this is the simplest way. If you configure your domain on Coolify beginning with HTTPS, then the Coolify will kick off a certificate creation process for you. And I'll show you an example here. So, you know, Cloud Compare um, is one of my websites and we can see here that its connection is secure. So this is HTTPS. And the way that I did that is I literally just listed my domain here starting with HTTPS. And so if you do that, then Coolify is gonna see like, hey, you're trying to make this a secure connection, I'm gonna go talk to a certificate authority, get that provisioned, put it on the server so that when someone comes, we can actually use HTTPS. And so the way this works is it uses Let's Encrypt under the hood. This is a common, popular, and pretty free um, certificate authority. And it uses that to verify and issue an SSL certificate, which it then will pull in, host it on the web server so that when traffic comes in, it can use that certificate um, to actually encrypt uh, the traffic. Now, in order for this to work, you do need your domain's DNS to have an A record pointing to your server's IP address. This is how Let's Encrypt verifies that the server at that IP address is an official provider for your domain. Um, the reason that this works is basically in order to set up that A record, you must have access to configure the domain itself, which in general means you have administration access on it. Um, so Let's Encrypt can say, okay, well, we know that you must own the domain and you set it to point to this IP address, which means that you must trust this IP address. Now it can look at the IP address and say, well, I can offer an SSL certificate to this server running on this IP address for this domain because I know it's an official provider based on the registration 
of the domain itself. And so that's why you need to do this first, because if you don't, you try to do the SSL certificate or domain setup before that A record is there, then it's going to be like, oh, I, I don't know if I can trust this, this IP address um, because there's nothing telling me that this is actually related to the official domain. Then you're going to want to save your HTTPS domain in your apps coolify configuration as I just showed you, and then you'll wait a minute or two and HTTPS will just like magically work. And you know, this is how I do HTTPS for my sites, one main checkboxes and cloud compare, which I just showed you. Okay, the other method is to configure HTTPS and SSL certs yourself. And this one is a bit more complicated, but not like terrible. I would really only recommend this if you want more control for some reason, again, if you have like a fleet of servers or you're an enterprise that already has your own provisioning methods or policies, um, then it could make sense to do this. But if you're really just like running a bunch of little like side websites, then like probably don't even bother. But it is here if, if you want that option. And to do this, you're gonna generate your own SSL certificate, which means you're gonna have to learn more about, you know, certificate authorities and all of that stuff. And then you're gonna copy the certificates into this folder on your server. And then you're going to have to configure traffic, which is the router load balancer for your app to use the custom SSL certificates. And you can see at the bottom of your app's configuration, all of the traffic um, configs. And so this does imply that you're going to need to mess with this as well um, with the certs. And so just a little bit more involved than, you know, letting it handle it for you. Now, if you go this route, I would definitely recommend referencing the official documents documentation, um, which is linked here because, you know, this is a bit clunky and I have a feeling that it will probably change at some point in the future. Um, so just look at that for the, the latest recommended path. So that's how you can set up HTTPS domains for your apps running Coolify. And this is how I've done it for my recent apps. It works well and it's pretty simple. Now, if you like this post, you might also like how to configure a custom domain on Coolify. You might also be interested in how to hide your server's IP address for free with Cloudflare. And finally, hosting my Docker containers on a VPS with Coolify as a platform as a service using GitHub for auto deploys, which is basically how I'm using Coolify basically as my hosting provider of choice um, to deploy all of my apps which are inside of Docker containers. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.